We back, episode two. We right back at it. Right back at it. Right back at it. So we're gonna jump right into it and then pick up where we left off at, you know, state of the culture, man. State of culture. It's very, very poor. Very poor. A lot of poverty. But you gotta think, like, when we say culture, man, like, people of our color, our culture, like, what's the top things they say, like, our culture is known for? Like, what, soul food, um, hip hop, um, I just think, I mean, like, I feel like all this stuff. I feel like it's given, it has been given to our people, like just given to us. So it's like, is it really our, our true culture? You feel me? Like, you know, you know, we like designer, you know, we like the European style of dressing. The girls like the straight hair, the European hair, you feel me? All the holidays and that everybody celebrate, you feel me? Like, these are all like, different cultures the food i feel like the food is just whatever you know <laughs> is around here type time like you feel me like it's like whatever is given to us so it's like is that really is that really our culture you know We ain't known for no millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires. You feel me? That's not our culture. So, um, yeah, man, I just think about that when we talk culture, man. Like, is it really your culture? I was watching, I just started watching that new HBO series. You feel me? We own, we own the city. I'm talking about culture vulture. <laughs> HBO, man. HBO, listen. HBO got the, the most reoccurring actors I ever seen. From the corner, the wire. I don't know. The homicide, I don't know. I was kind of young when homicide came out. But I feel like they ain't really given you know, no fresh opportunities to local actors, man. Like, put, like, let them star in these Baltimore-based movies, these Baltimore-based shows. Let them star and give it, give you the authentic feel. Granted, yeah, Snoop, you feel me? Snoop got, I mean, Snoop was able to capitalize off of The Wire, but that's one out of, you feel me? All the talent we got here, and HBO just, you know, <laughs> Yo, how, how, uh, yo, how Marlo is, is, is suited now, like, <laughs> like, 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 come on now, man, like, oh, HBO, man, y'all gotta come out at me for casting, man, let's get, let's get some infrastructure put together, man, cause y'all come through, y'all, y'all make these you know, you feel me? You get all this revenue off this, off these stories, and once again, it's not trickling back down to the culture. It's not trickling back down to the culture, man. It's no gun task trace, gun trace task force without nothing to trace. <laughs> Without the culture, without the street element, without that culture, like, you feel me? Like, God, it gotta make sense. I just want it to make sense, man, you know? So let's just make it make sense. So HBO, man, stop the culture of altering, man. Stop it. Come on, man. Do something for the city for real. I mean, blow up some more stars. I mean, you know, they had the little extras in there. Of course, they're going to get the local extras and all that. But, hey, man, get them some talking roles. You feel me? Some shine. Hey, man. You know, just recycling the same actors, man. <laughs> it's 
crazy. Okay. Next subject, we're gonna talk. We're gonna stick on the culture. Talking about culture, man. Like, I was watching one of my favorite cultural movies, Belly, a classic. You feel me? An instant classic. I was watching Belly, man. R.I.P. D.M.X. And um, I think Ox had passed away too. The uh, guy that played Ox. So R.I.P. to them. But um, Belly. Yeah, I don't know what Belly Two is about. Did anybody really, nobody really talks about Belly Two. Like it didn't really make sense. Not a classic, but Belly One. So I was watching it right, and you know sometimes when you watch, you know you watch your your favorite movies or shows over, you kind of notice something. You always kind of notice something that you kind of miss. So it's three scenes. It's three scenes I want to. Yeah, man, review with y'all. You feel me? I just want to go over it. So, the first scene we got. We about to play the scene. Here we go. That's my girl. I met her out in Baltimore when me and Buns first started flipping birds. We had Kenya this past year. Yo, when shit gets crazy, it's them. They keep me sane. You know, you talk too loud when you're on the phone. Shh. What you talking about? Because I heard you was friend to Bundy about last night. I'm saying, T. Here you go. I got to do my thing, Mom. You know how that go. Sam, I mean, seriously, why can't we just start a business or something? I mean, can you need you? And what the fuck's supposed to happen to us if you get caught? Well, what? What, visits, phone calls? Shh. What you think I'm gonna be doing out here? Nothing? Just sitting around starving? I mean, I mean, look, you act like we're broke. I mean, what the fuck? And I told you plenty of times, Tommy does not give a fuck about you. You cannot trust him. You know that. That first scene, man. Let's break down this scene, man. First of all, just, I mean, just the fact that he got it from Baltimore. That I, I guess I'll just point that out, but I don't know. I ain't really meet too many t bosses down here. But anyway, notice that they was having an argument. You feel me? A disagreement. You feel me? But it wasn't really no yelling. You feel me? Like, they was still able to... One person say they, you know, say how they feel. And the next person say how they feel. They was able to go, you feel me? It was a dialogue. So even though it was an argument, it wasn't violent. It wasn't out of control. The kid wasn't in danger. Like, you feel me? I noticed how she controlled the argument. You feel me? Then it was certain stuff she was saying. Like, why don't we start a business, you feel me? Like, it's just serious stuff she was saying, you feel me? You're going to always, you're going you gonna to have that female in your life that's going to say certain stuff, you feel me? That's when you know you really got a good woman. It's certain stuff that she's going to say to you. And as a as a, as a a man, a real man, you're going to recognize it. But, um, you feel me? She said, let's start a business, this, that, and the third. You feel me? We ain't broke. You act like we broke. Like she wasn't tearing him down. She was, you know what I mean? She was, you know, just letting him know, yeah, we getting taught. She was still bigging up her man. You feel me? And then she warned him about his friends. You feel me? She warned him about that nigga Bundy. You feel me? And man, you know, I got to give it up to, you know, a couple of females in my life that was like that. You feel me? Granted, I already knew the type of niggas I was around, you feel me? So, I, you know, I wasn't blind to it. But the fact that they recognized and warned me and put me D like, look, yeah, that nigga shiesty. You don't need to be around that nigga. It just, you feel me? It just meant a lot. You feel me? It just showed, you know, some concern. But that's the, that's, you feel me? And after, after that, she broke him off, you feel me? Broke him off, you feel me? <laughs> Sent him on his way, you feel me? Like, that's a nice argument, ladies. Man, that's my girl. I met her in Baltimore. Like, yeah, all my Baltimore chicks. Yeah, yeah. Look over that scene again, you feel me? 
Alright, so the second scene goes straight to the second scene. Yo, that nigga just. That nigga's fucking crazy, yo. Yo, you should have seen him. He ditched their whole clique. Now, if that was me, I would have bodied the nigga as soon as they said something. Oh, fuck is you talking about? You was right there and didn't say shit. Surprised you had nothing to pull that piece of shit now you got, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? Yo, if it wasn't me, I'm Brooklyn Castle to push your wig back, nigga. Yeah, I ain't. Oh. Son, don't even try to front. Yo, I seen how shook you was when the nigga showed up. You know what I mean? You was praying shit didn't happen. You know, I seen you after we left, you know? Was ready to cry like a bitch. Uh-huh. You think I ain't see that though? <laughs> yo, when them niggas pulled out, you son of mad hurt. You know what I mean? Yo, up front, but you don't want me to pull your bitch ass car in front of buns and shit. Fuck it. Just keep it real. Yo, I know you're not gonna let this nigga talk to you like that, man. What's going on, man? Nah, bitch nigga ain't no bitch in me. talking about, nigga? What? Some real shit now, what? Chill, chill, man. That bitch is chill, man. That nigga's fuck around and make a mistake. Ain't no mistakes, man. This motherfuckers just talk too much. I had to shut him the fuck up. So let's break down this scene, man. You feel me? And you see this a lot, you feel me? You gotta remember these two little, these two dudes, these young dudes, you feel me? In the basement, they was real humble, you feel me? They wanted to get down. We just wanna be down, buns. We wanna get down, man. School mad hard, son. School mad hard. They just wanted to get down. They had, you know what I mean? Some humility, but, you know, I guess they got some, got some, got some money. Hanging around buns now, you feel me? They strap now, you feel me? When niggas get when niggas get them straps, niggas man, niggas transform. I got I, I know a couple of transformers, you feel me? But that's for another podcast. That's for another episode. But yeah, when people get that 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 pistol and they yeah, man. So now they full of ego. You feel me now? They want upstage one another in front of buns. You feel me? And, and Bun sitting there instigating. There's a lot of instigators out here, man. It's a lot of instigators, man. We all do it. You feel me? We all do it. You know what I mean? But a lot of instigators out here. Niggas, females. You know what I mean? It's a lot of instigators that, you know, just escalate stuff. But then you gotta realize Buns was older than these niggas. Buns could have deaded it. Buns could have, you know what I mean? Could have just avoided that whole thing. So we gotta understand us that's older. We, you know, like these younger kids, they look up to us. You feel me? If we got the opportunity to just, you know what I mean? Just dare some shit, man. Go ahead, dare that. Cause we know how, you know what I mean? It happens. It happens a lot. It just be a lot of emotions, you feel me? A lot of these. They little boys, you find me? And there's a lot of grown men that's still little boys. They ain't never addressed the little boy issues. So they that's a lot of emotions. And once you you strapped and and man, you all enraged, testosterone, dopamine, all type of yeah, man, and all other drugs you doing in you like it gets ugly, it gets messy. Now we're gonna look at the last scene. And matter of fact, man, if y'all feel like y'all seen something else and got something else out of the scene, man, drop it in the comment, man. We go back and forth, man. Might have to start making this a little, yeah, you know I man, a regular joint, yeah, you know I man. But this the uh, this the last scene we're gonna look over. Hey T, thanks for coming. Look, I know you don't really know me that well at all. I hate to burden you, but it's not a burden. It's cool. What's wrong? I'm saying, I just, I feel like I don't have any hope. You know, I can't seem to get this nigga away from me. And I know he's the worst type of nigga to have, but yet... But yet what? 
I don't know. I mean, I just, I keep hoping that maybe one day he'll be more like sincere, you know? More to life, more to me. You know you have that. Keisha, I'm just be honest with you. Time's not gonna be shit but what he is. I mean, you just have to understand it's like certain types of people that just accept the bad in life, and that's cool with them. I hate to say it, but you're right, you know? It just hurts to be alone, you know? And the only thing I have is fucked up. It's like, is that all there is? Keisha, you got life. You are breathing, you're healthy. Fuck that nigga. You don't need no nigga, Keisha, to make you feel like you're whole. But you and Sincere are so happy. But don't mistake it. I'm happy with Sincere because I'm happy. If I wasn't happy with him, then I have to do what I have to do. You get what I'm saying? You have to do the same for you. I don't know what that is, too. I mean, I think you'll be all right. You're just gonna have to, you know, take it one day at a time. Yeah, I know. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Mm. Keisha. So, I was looking at this scene and I was just looking like, man, a lot of females be like that. They be looking at everybody else's other relationships and be like, they want, they, you know what I mean? They think everybody else happy and they want to, they want to mimic this and do that. You feel me? That's what Keisha just did, you feel me? Like, I want I want what you and Sincere got. But you see how T-Bot is like, listen, I'm happy because I'm happy. So, like, y'all got to be happy with y'all situation, you feel me? If you're not happy with yourself, you got to find out and get to the core issue of what's not making you happy. You can't want to be happy with somebody if you're not even happy with yourself, you feel me? So... And yeah, man, get that together. T Bar said it. I'm just, yeah, man, I'm just bringing it out, ladies. You feel me? So you gotta know yourself. That's that's the number one thing. You feel me? And and really, to keep it real with y'all, like life ain't even about happiness, man. Life is not even about being happy. Life is about serving other people. Simple, simple. That's all life is about, man. You got you gotta be of service. You got you got better. The world, you gotta better the, your community. You gotta better, you know what I mean, invent something new that's going like we we destroying the earth right now. You feel me? Like, yeah, your job is to keep it going. Like, you know what I mean, so our kids, 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 kids can have somewhere to live. You feel me? In good conditions, but that's what life is really about. But um, yeah, man, that's my little review, man. Belly, man. Classic. I might M M&M, M start doing some other classic point pulling out some scenes, you feel me, doing that, going over that. But yeah though, you feel me? So and um from the last episode, somebody had DM me about crypto getting into crypto. Man, this is how I got into crypto, you feel me? I Googled crypto and I just researched. I just started, you feel me? Like everything starts with research. Before you learn how to walk, you watched and you researched <laughs> other people walking around you. Then you, you know what I mean? Everything just takes research, you feel me? But the first thing you you know you do is just research crypto, research the different coins, what's what got the most back and you know, I mean see if you you, you even wanna get into it, could afford to, cause right now, I mean, it's early, it's booming, so you get into it, but you know, you feel me, it's gonna be kinda high. So I mean you have a couple of hours to play with. Then you wanna make sure you get you a wallet. You feel me? This is a wallet, a digital wallet. You know, to keep all your your money, your passwords, and all that for your crypto. And you know, I use MetaMask, but it's different wallets. So once again, just research different wallets to see, you know what I mean? which one you want to deal with. But I got MetaMask, I downloaded it, and man, I got it on my phone, I got it on my tool. But it's different wallets for different coins and stuff too. So, I mean, you just got to research it, I mean, and learn the game. But that's how you get into crypto, man. You just research and just get into it, man, and just be ahead of the game. I mean, cash in, run up a bag early before, I mean, before it just, it ain't popping like that no more. You feel me? It's all about, I mean, when you get to the party. Just keep it real. It's all about when you get to the party. You get to the party late. 
the baddies is already snatched up. They already know where they going after that. You find me the party. I mean, you don't want to be late. You find me? So, <laughs> yeah, man, you, you know, everybody won't be fast when you late and all that. But this t different type of party right here, you want you yeah, you want to be there. Yeah, man. You want to be there early. And being early is on time. Yeah, man, I forgot to put it on silent mode. You feel me? I mean, but being early is on time. Being on time is late. Being late, don't even show up. <laughs> I had a teacher used to tell me that. I forgot who used to tell me that. But yeah, you early, you on time. You on time, you late. You late, don't even show up. But yeah, man, check out crypto, man. Get some, I mean, run up a bag. Run up some, yeah, man, some cat little that you could... Put into some, you know what I mean, some other stuff, man. We gotta start owning stuff. We gotta start having stuff. Like you don't, how you just like, I mean, ain't nobody never. We gotta be able to pass down cars and houses and land and businesses to our kids, man. We gotta prepare for that. Nobody is trying to prepare for that. That's missing in the culture. Preparedness. Everybody's just like, whatever come. You feel me? You know I mean, just in a seven day cycle, Monday through Sunday, you feel me? Or Sunday through Saturday, you feel me? Just in a cycle, just like that. Going in a circle. Y'all gotta get out the loop, man. Cause y'all is, y'all think y'all in the loop when y'all is the loop. Y'all the loop. You feel me? When you get out the loop, then you can see how you get in the loop. Not be the loot, you feel me? Niggas is not in the loot right now, you feel me? Niggas is the loot. Get out the loot. See what's going on. And yeah, man, check yourself. Check your life. Get your mind together, you feel me? But yeah, though, man. Episode two, man. Listen. I'm locking in my sponsors and... You feel me? I'm getting the bag together. Um, for my people that want the, the sound, I got I got my equipment coming tomorrow so we get the sound together and all that. Yeah, man, I had to get my mics and all that right. You feel me? Because I'm doing this in the ducky spot. You feel me? We in the ducky spot. You feel me? So, like, we're going to get it right. But I'm, I, I'm just taking this step. Just to show anybody that really want to get into it, like, you really just start from the basics, you feel me? You start from the basics, then you want to work your way up. And from Tyler Perry, shit, Tyler Perry, come on, man, Tyler Perry was homeless. He worked his way all the way up, and man, man, this man got his own city, basically, you feel me? So it's like, you got to just start, you feel me? Don't be afraid to start, like... Just start it, you feel me? Once you start, like, it's going to be easy after that, you feel me? But it's time for ownership, man. Digital ownership. Intellectual ownership, man. You feel me? What we what we create in this so-called culture, we got to own it, man. You feel me? Like, it got to trickle down. It got to make sense, you feel me? So let's make it make sense. Yeah, man. Yo, essentials. I mean, I, I bang with essentials. I mess with essentials, but like y'all gotta get y'all y'all sizing together. I'll be ordering my clothes, right? So like, sometimes I'm gonna get a small or a medium, but then sometimes a medium be a little drunk. But it's like, yeah, man, we gonna get it together. I well, yeah, mean, let's get a deal together, something. You feel me? Get me tailored up. You feel me? I yeah, mean, we work out some money by getting get these sponsors together. You feel me? We we'll get the budget up. You feel me? Like I said, there's a lot to come, you feel me? I'm just want just I'm just being consistent, building up, you feel me? Just being consistent, building up my content. But I'm telling you, man, stick with me now, you feel me? Hey, listen, I got I got my NFT stickers, you feel me? I'm sticking them all around the city, the DMV area. You feel me? I'm about to go. I'm about to be everywhere with them, but I'm sticking them everywhere. So if you see them, you feel me, make sure you follow the IG. As Zaza Bear NFT, you follow the IG, take a pic of you pointing at the NFT. Take a pic of you pointing at the NFT. You feel me? Yeah, man, share it in your story. 
then you qualify for a cash app prize. I ain't got the amount together yet. Like I said, I'm getting my sponsors and everything. You feel me? They going, they going, they going. I mean, they gonna take care of y'all. So we gonna get get the uh, amount together. We gonna get everything together. You feel me? Like we building right now. So build with me. You feel me? Comment down if y'all want. Come on, y'all want to hear some topics. You feel me? Like yeah, man. Yeah, man, this this. Is, it's just gonna make sense. I'm telling you, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it make sense, you feel me? We're gonna all be wolves walking around here, you feel me? We all gonna be wolves, you feel me? You're gonna know how to really handle business and monetize all of everything. It's just the beginning. Keep tapping in, man.